Radiohead is a fine band, but they stole everything from Coldplay. Mm. The Radiohead the is the yeah. poor man's Coldplay. What's up, everyone? John from Beyond AR TV. Let's take a look at this whole Radiohead versus Fox News situation. So if you haven't heard what's been going on the past few weeks, out of nowhere, it seems, just a couple of the hosts of Fox News have attacked Radiohead, and I'll talk more about this, but I want to shed some light on a few things, and I know a lot of people are already talking about this. In fact, a ton of people, a ton of blogs and everything are, but I want to give my thoughts and feelings on what I think all is going down. So I think Radiohead, through the whole thing, have been great sports about it. Obviously, uh, reacting to getting called strange, sad, malnourished. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how I would take that, but Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead made it his Twitter bio. So if you're not familiar, let's rewind a bit. So a few weeks ago on her show on Fox News, we had someone named Kat Tempth on her show on Fox News. She started up a little bit of beef, I guess, with Radiohead and their fans, making that comment, saying eventually that she had dated guys that were really into Radiohead, and that wasn't the end of it, though. This was on October 7th, so October 21st, just a few days ago at the time of recording this video, we have her again saying something that seems a bit bizarre, and we have also another guy, uh, the Greg Gutfield Show, Greg Gutfield himself steps in, makes some comments that were just a bit inflammatory, I would say, and he's kind of going off about how their music is kind of for the sad people, and they're discussing that a bit. But whenever he steps over the line, and I realize that this guy is supposedly an ex comedian or something like that, but he says it with really no comedic inflection other than the fact that you're just talking with your friends and ripping on a band. That's beside the point though. What he says here is that Radiohead are a poor man's Coldplay and that they stole everything from Coldplay. And I think most people, including myself initially, considering it's Fox News, and if it's not clear already, I hate Fox News. They are uh, the perpetuator of a lot of fake news considering uh, they're the ones that claim to be the real news and Trump loves them, but whatever. Anyways, here they're saying this and if this is something that this guy truly believes, then it really is fake news and if he and his comrades there just didn't pick up on that whatsoever they didn't seem to and they were talking about Radiohead's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination which I think they should get it I've really been into Radiohead lately and maybe that's why I'm making this video but I, I do think that they deserve it even if I hadn't still been into them I think that they are one of those legendary bands that deserves that but to make a comment like that and to really not go back on it whatsoever to not say oh, I'm just I'm kidding not that Fox News would ever admit that but I think that this was just done to stir up controversy to get people talking and what do you know it worked that clip went viral everybody was uh, really going crazy in the Radiohead fandom and I understand why fans are upset and I myself feel like a hint of him definitely believes that somehow and I think that his colleagues just didn't seem to get it the people that were appearing on the show there and they seem like they just bought into the fact that uh oh Radiohead just ripped off Coldplay well, let me lay something down for those of you who are not familiar with Radiohead or maybe even Coldplay. Maybe you're a massive Coldplay fan, you don't know much about Radiohead. You can d directly see how Radiohead inspired and influenced Coldplay. I don't think Coldplay, their first album at least, would exist without Radiohead and them hearing that. The same goes for bands like Muse. I mean, if you listen to Showbiz and then you go back and listen to OK Computer, I mean, Exit Film is basically the sound of Muse's Showbiz. It's obvious how they influence so many different bands. And I love Radiohead, I love Coldplay, I love obviously Muse as well. So I'm a big fan, I'm not hating on any of those bands. But the fact is, Coldplay had multiple albums out in the world and under their belt before Coldplay even dropped their first EP or albums. So, in what world does that make sense? I don't know. I must be living on a different planet. I feel like that sometimes, but I just wanted to put that out there. It seems absolutely absurd, but I think that Fox News, at least the Greg guy, knew what he was doing, stirring the waters, making people pissed off as they do by spreading falsities and uh, lies, deception, typical Fox News. Now, I know some people watching this video will be like, oh, CNN is the fake news, whoever's the fake news. You know what? 
people and of, of, of every network, I just stumbled like eight times, but people of every network get it wrong. And that is something that is going to happen with news. And a lot of these networks do not own up to it. So that's why I have a hard time really following a lot of mainstream news, but I cannot side with a news network that is clearly so biased towards sucking off Trump. But that's, uh, that's enough politics for this. Anyways, Radiohead versus Fox News. Obviously, I'm on the side of Radiohead here, and I feel like it was done as a comedic thing by Fox, but I think they succeeded in pissing everybody off, and I think that it was wrong, and I think that a lot of people definitely do actually believe what he was saying. A lot of people who watch Fox News are like, oh yeah, everybody who listens to Coldplay, just sad, sick individuals. You know, if Trump tweeted it, it'd be like, Radiohead fans, just awful, sad, pathetic sad exclamation point or period. That's how I feel about it though. So let me know what you think about the whole situation. It's kind of ridiculous. Let me know in the comment section down below. This was another news it or lose it update. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you are new here. I've got maybe a couple new videos coming uh, over the weekend over here on Beyond Air TV. I might talk about the Chester Bennington concert tribute and I might also do another episode of Sound on Sunday or else I might take a week off. Haven't decided yet. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you very soon for more videos, more content. If you're able to support on Patreon, top link down below or else annotation in the corner. A couple of recent videos here, socials in the description, and I'll see you very soon on Beyond ARTV.